Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a, a car themed one. It's not a Hot Wheels, it's actually Johnny Lightning. They have made some really good uh, cars out there. They got some really nice ones. I've never really collected Johnny Lightning. I have a few in my collection, um, but I need to really start looking at these. This one I should probably just put in my collection because I was looking at this as I was doing it. Uh, this was a hard one to find, evidently. But right up here it says one of limited edition, one of 4412, so 4412. So this is the car I want to use tonight. I'm going to go ahead and use it. It was a little bit more expensive than my regular dollar, two dollar Hot Wheel cars. Um, I got this one at the flea market yesterday. I almost poured it last night. I found another car that inspired me, so I did that one last night. And it turned out really good. And so, and it's still, it's drying right over here. But this one was $12. And I usually don't spend that much on one, but I guess I was in a spending mood yesterday because uh, I bought... Um, I think I bought one for eight and one for seven or six dollars, something like that. So it's kind of unusual for me to spend that on one, but then buying three at that price was, I don't know. They caught my eye and I'm, and I'm, some days I'm like, no, nah, I can't. And then I go back and it's not there. So then it's like, if you see it and it's hard, you don't never seen it before. You should you should probably get it, and that's what I did. So this has, as you can see, it has a, a gold engine. So it's got the gold on it, the gold uh, rims on it, black with some red, and there's red, red in there, pretty good. And uh, so I've been trying to debate on what color scheme I should go with. Should I do black with gold and red coming out the back? Should I do gold with black and red coming out the back? Should I do red with black and gold coming out? And it does have some yellow on the top, but I'm not using yellow in this one. I'm just going to use black, red, and gold. And so I've gone with red as the background. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do some some gold and black coming out the back of it. I'd almost went with a half red and half black and gold down the middle, but I didn't, I didn't, the front of what's in front of the car would still be split. I kind of didn't like that. Um, so I kind of nixed that idea at first when I first thought of it, it was like, Oh, this, this would be something different, something unique. And uh, the more I thought about it, I, I don't think it'll work real well. It might, I might try it someday, but not tonight. So that's what we got to do. I've already mixed the paint. So all I got to do is move the camera around and get my level, level the canvas and we'll be ready to go. All right. So I got the level, the canvas on here. I got the level out. Make sure it's level. red paint I have to be careful I've got coasters all along the sides here that I did some earlier today today is a Sunday so I was off uh, you know I'm off for the weekend and uh, <clears throat> the Colts were getting beat at the time the Colts were getting beat up pretty good so I went ahead and thought, well, I'll come down and paint. So I came down and did some coasters. I need some, I did three sets of coasters painted. They're all white with purple and gold. But I'm going to try to do coasters. 
for the event coming up. I've got some made, but I just want to have some more. It's going to be a big event, so I sell them for $25 a set. I figure if I can have at least 30 30 25 10 250 It'd be $750 in in sales 10 at $25 would be 250 through times 3 I mean the odds of me selling them all are best but I will sell quite a few of them but I would rather sell if I was going to sell out of all of them I'd rather sell out of 30 of them than you know probably 10 which is probably what I would have had I decided I better make some more I think I have six or seven right now so maybe five I don't know I keep I keep making them for events coming up thinking I only got three sets I've only got three sets left so I, I make like five sets and then I sell five sets at the show you know and this is just a regular show one day event so this is a big event it's four days I think it's reasonable to try to get 30. I'll have to count exactly how many I have. I can't remember. Paint all on me. I do have my paint shirt on. That's why it looks like I'm got stains all on it. So we got the red on there. So. Just blow out some of these air pockets. From right. Yeah, while I was sitting here mixing my paints, like I said, I have coasters sitting here. And out of the corner of my eye, I see something, some movement in the room. So I look over. And there's a gnat dive bombs right into one of my coasters. And of course, lands there. Fortunately, the paint was still... Is, still wet and I was able to dig it out without messing up the messing up the pattern of any kind so I got that stupid mat out but I would have hated to have uh, seen that after it's dried and trying to dig that out mm. Ugh, stupid mats all right so we can get some It's got some lumps in it there. Going. 
need some more gold in that. I think that's plenty of black. Add some over here. I hate covering up those nice cells there. Fresh a little too much gold. That's a big string of something. Hmm. Probably a float trail. I'll tell you this this particular jar of gallon of float trail I had just had a lot of junk in it when I was pouring it. Boy, I wish, really wish they wouldn't have put this yellow on this car, but here's the car. Took it out of its packaging. So you can see the gold. So, I just set it right there. Well, that yellow just throws it off a lot. But it is quite a bit of red on the back. 
so all right there we go that's uh that is the pour when this dries that gold will look a lot better and by the time it dries and then the resin gets on it that definitely will um have more of a gold look to it than it does now. All right, we have the canvases dry. I got it taped on the back. I'm using Pro Marine resin, 10 by 20 canvas. So that takes seven ounces of total resin, which is three and a half of the hardener, three and a half of the epoxy. And I mix it for about three minutes. And I'm going in a hurry because I was, I was actually uh, filming a, a painting I was doing, and when I got done, I looked at my camera, and it was, the camera was off. <laughs> so basically, I thought, oh, what's going on? I didn't hit play. I didn't do this. Didn't do that. It ends up turning out that my storage was full, so I had to go in and delete some stuff. So I lost the, the the content of actually painting a painting and it turned out pretty good and it was a good it was a good painting dang it oh well not i've done probably a thousand paintings without video on any of them so it's not like the end of the world but i guess once you start filming and documenting your documenting oh that's the right word boy it's late documenting your work by video and putting everything on YouTube or Facebook. Then when you don't, you're kind of like, oh, they're not going to be able to see that. But I'm in a hurry because I want to make sure that I think I deleted enough stuff off of here to film this. Actually, the, the program that I use to edit these videos, I have on my phone, and it's pretty, it was, it was taking up one video stand, you know, just keeping it, the last video I did, I still, I deleted off, I deleted off the, uh, usually every video I delete off of the phone off of the app and it deletes it off the phone and everything but yeah it was like five five point something gigabytes and I'm like, oh, so i delete that and i deleted some videos i deleted the videos it did take a little bit of video tonight on my stuff it was just it didn't finish them out so there's no need to keep them and it's not like i can put the paint back in the cups and repaint it so it's kind of a one-shot deal when you're videoing these. You can't you can't rewind and start over. I mean, you could, but you'd be wasting a lot of canvases and paints. So, but I will have the end product on there. And I, but I might mess with a little bit more. There's one corner on this that uh. And I've got paint all over me all night long. Just got some more on me. Getting the, I'm filling up my torch with some butane. There's one corner on that that I want to. I think I want to take off. So I'll do that once I get this done. You want to have your torch full of butane, or at least have quite a bit in it. When it gets low, it, the flame just doesn't come out as much, so then it's, it takes longer to burst your bubbles on here. Take out your bubbles, so that's what I was seeing. It was kind of wimpy flame, so it wasn't as strong, so it's...
Well, I actually am, ha am having my first, today is Wednesday, and I'm having my first class that I'm teaching at the Gilded Nest on Saturday. So three days from now, I'll be teaching my class. Uh, they, they sent me an email today saying that they have four people signed up for my class, um, which I wasn't expecting a ton of people, especially my first time, you know. So that was about, I figured I'd have at least a couple. And uh, I knew of two people that were definitely gonna take it. Um, one, the one guy Rex, he that I met up at the Glass, Elwood Glass Festival, that ended up buying a couple of my paintings. I, I did a commission piece for him, and uh, so he signed up. And then Michelle, who is basically the lady that recruited me to teach at the Gilded Nest, and she's got some projects in mind that we'll probably do. We'll probably I'll probably help her with to. Uh, to help her with the painting that she's been wanting to do. So, um, and then the other two, I don't know who signed up. So I'll find out when I get there, I guess. But they were wanting to know, they wanted me to know how many, and they were wanting to know if I would take walk-ins. Like if somebody just walked in and wanted to take the class, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll have extra canvases there and stuff for everybody. So, all right, I think I have the, I think I have the bubbles out. So now time to place the car in there. So I'm trying to figure if I need it here, here. Just a little bit right there is where I want it. All right, so there you have it. I really wish it didn't have the yellow on there on the top of the car, but oh well. It kind of goes with a little bit with the gold. But the gold, as you can tell, after it has dried, when it was still wet, it didn't really look it didn't really look all that good. Really, the gold doesn't. So if you're if you're painting with gold and you it looks a little different, it doesn't have that glimmer to it like this like it does now wait for it to dry and see what it looks like and then of course the resin just pulls that out so now you can kind of see the the glittery type type stuff as you can see i got paint all over me tonight so if you're working with gold copper silver it may look dull while it's first wet and applied but it will definitely pop like that so if you like this video hit the like button Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this car, if it goes good with this. Um, and then, as always, if you want to subscribe to my channel, we have hit 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. But we're going for 300 now, so help us out by subscribing and uh, helping us uh, support the channel. So, And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.